Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41 and welcome back to Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. Or should I say, Luigi Superstar Saga. Mario has succumbed to the beam fever, and thus Luigi, instilled with the confidence of Mario, has to go get some Krabby Grass. And this guy says, what? You say he's standing right before my eyes? Um, Luigi, did someone thump you on the head? <laughs> that guy's awesome. But yes, Luigi is now instilled with the confidence of Mario, and he will go to Tiki Valley to get some Krabby Grass. Well, really go to the ruins to get some Krabby Grass. The Guffawa Ruins, or however you pronounce it. I'm not going to pronounce that right, so I'm just going to refer to it as The Ruins. But in any event, we can use that elevator that was conveniently for one bro, because we now have one bro. So, this is Luigi's time to shine, his solo expedition to The Ruins. But first, we have a little bit of a maze! Not, well, not really. But he just has to go down this path and find an invisible block. There it is. And grab a nice hoobie. Then we can back. I don't know why they have to put these big, long, winding paths. Why can't it just be, like, right there? But, whatever. And yet another rock in the way, for some reason. I don't know why. But, so yeah, this little miniature dungeon... Oh, my. This little miniature dungeon is for Luigi only. This is Luigi's solo time in this game. I guess it's making up for all the times that Luigi's really gotten the shaft. And that's the wrong way, too. Damn, why can I not get through this maze? Okay, but watch this. Look at this. Look at this. Luigi! Super Luigi Bros! That's This is awesome. This is Luigi. This is Luigi. <laughs> this is great. Oh, and doesn't this music sound familiar? This sounds like Hoo Hoo Mountain. And in fact, we are pretty close to Hoo Hoo Mountain. Uh, Tiki Valley actually connects to Hoo Hoo Mountain. If we check the map, yeah, you can see that we're right there now. So, how about that? The ruins are actually, like, on the foot of Tiki Mountain. No, Hoo Hoo Mountain. Wow, name fail. You can see a gold Monty Mole there just itching to give us a prize, but unfortunately, we cannot get up there yet. But we can get these blocks, a mushroom, a syrup, and another mushroom. Kind of lame items at this point, but whatever. Uh, also, black rocks that we cannot break yet until we get the Ultra Hammer. So this actually does connect to earlier in the game when we went down Hoo Hoo Mountain. Uh, remember right before we went to the Bean Bean Castle Town for the first time, we went on that little path, rode the minecarts, remember that? Yeah, it connects to there. So anyway, this is the entrance to the ruins. Uh, you have, you're have you given no explanation of what to do. So once you hit that, you kind of just have to figure it out. It's so weird. But you have to hit these little light balls into that statue up ahead. You have to time it so you hit it with the bounce. Um, but you do want to avoid hitting red little light balls. If you hit a red one, uh, it'll actually force you to start this little mini game all over. So yeah, we got to wait. There we go, until it's blue. And see, this one's going to alternate. So a lot of them have these patterns that you just got to time properly. And it can be tricky, and it can be kind of tedious. Especially if you don't know what to do. There's no explanation of this game. It's so random. But yeah, at the same time, it's kind of cool. The last one. The last one. Alright. That's what I'm talking about. Laser beams! Oh my god, laser beams! It's like the beamos. And that creates some guy with a mustache. With a curly mustache. So we can, uh... <laughs> Where your curly mustache at? Oh, let's just hammer that. <laughs> I thought you had to use a thunder hand, apparently not. But that'll open the entrance to the ruins, which has the nice underground remix. So yeah, like I said, this is Luigi's little mini dungeon, and you know when you see these orbs, it really is Luigi's dungeon, because we can use the thunder hand to open the weird-ass smiling gate. I don't know, that looks weird. A lot of the things in this game look weird, but that looks really weird. And in here, oh, we have an old foe. Chuck guys, now in light blue. I don't know why they're in light, light blue. They are still Chuck guys, as you will see. Uh, once we choose an action, yep, there you go. Chuck guy, what do you know? I don't know why they're light blue. They are actually a little faster, but yeah, as you see there, Luigi's hand attack actually heals the Chuck guy. And I assume Mario's hand attack scores super effective against this variant, but you never really get to find out. Because you never get the chance to use Mario in here. But, um... So yeah, we have to take out these Chuck guys. Their attacks, you can tell their attack. Look at their attack. Oh my god. <laughs> They're much faster than, uh, you know, the Chuckaluck Woods variants. Uh, also, since we're fighting Chuck guys again, appropriate to bring up that you can, in fact, jump on Chuck guys and it doesn't hurt you. I thought they counted spiked enemies. Partially because in Paper Mario they did, the spear guys anyway, and they, oh god. Oh god, hold on, I gotta cut off that for a ridiculous new enemy, the Limbo Bro. Oh my god, if, if you thought Yo Bros were bad, actually, no, Yo Bros are still pretty bad, but Limbo Bros are pretty ridiculous too. Anyway, they died of Luigi's hand attack really quickly, so you can just use that to take them out. 
And also jumping on this thing seems to work out a lot better, so. Yeah, there we go. One shot. Take him down at one shot. So. Yeah, I'll show off a Limbo Bros attack. I'm sure we're gonna find another one. But yeah, this is Luigi's time to shine. No Mario. So, there's no one to share the experience with. Even though we don't get a lot, it's all for Luigi. So, it kind of makes up for it. Anyway, here we have some donut lifts, if you remember, from Super Mario Bros. 3 and amongst other games. Like, hop hop donut lifts from Super Mario World 2. I don't know. Donut lifts are always fun. <laughs> I don't know. They're one of those things in Mario games that over always get overlooked, but they're in a ton of games. And anyway, I'm gonna take out this Chuck guy first so you can check out the Limbo Bros attack. He's like, oh, I'm gonna Limbo, dude. Oh, I fell. Oh, I'm gonna Limbo. Fire. <laughs> That's my narration of the Limbo Bros attack. It's so absurd and ridiculous, and we'll take it out with 41 damage. Like, seriously, what is this thing? I don't know. I don't even try to understand. Uh, uh, Meant to use the chunk, that's all right. Uh, we'll have to dodge that. You can actually tell what the Chuck guys are gonna do, because, oh, Limbo fall. Oh, here he comes. Oh, damn, I actually got that. Um, so yeah, the, the Chuck guys will jump if they're gonna rush in at Luigi, but see there's no jump there so they're gonna swipe at me. I don't think so. Uh, now that I figured out their pattern, now that I'm out of Chuckle Huck Woods, it's a good time to figure out their pattern. But hey, there we go. Level 26 for Luigi. Yeah, who needs Mario? We have Luigi, the defensive tank, because his speed is really awful. I'm gonna upgrade something I haven't upgraded in a while. Stash. Let's see, there are a lot of fives in there, so let's see. Oh. <laughs> Only a two. Oh, that's disappointing. Well, I mean, it's not a one, so it's not terrible, but still. Anyway, uh, yeah, I gotta go this way because there's a block over there, and I want that block. <laughs> a super mushroom, wasn't that worth it? I also wanna fight this guy, and I can't hit him. He get, did he get stuck on the wall? It looked like he almost got stuck on the wall for a second. Oh, these poor Chuck guys. It looks like they don't even have a chance. Look at that. Take him down. One hit. Yeah, that guy can't do anything. He's dead. <laughs> that was rather pathetic. All right, moving on. Through this door, we have more stairs. More stairs. And what do we have here? Oh, Mario Brothers style platforms. Here we go. Now, if this doesn't scream classic Mario Bros, I don't know what does. So across the platforms and in the door. And in here we find a puzzle. Oh, you know what this puzzle is? This is exactly, exactly like the Dry Dry Ruins puzzle from Paper Mario. That's exactly what it's like. And also, I healed a little bit there because this is a save album. And, you know, save album usually means a boss is coming up. Just saying. Just saying. Alright, I'm going to figure this out on the first try. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to do that on the first try. But, <laughs> I haven't done this puzzle in a long time and I'm not going to look at any guys to try to do it. So let's see what happens. I think I need to raise the, yeah, hit the green switch. Yeah, because that platform needs to go down. So we need to jump up here, up there, and we need to eventually lower the red, I'm pretty sure. Oh, spe speaking of which, red switch. Red down. All right, so now the green needs to go up, but we also need to make it so we can get back. So, hold on. I think we need to do the blue one first. Hold on. Uh, now I'm confusing myself. All right, yeah, let's try, um, let's just hit the green one. No, you know what? Ah, the blue one. No, the green one. Oh, I'm unsure. I'm indecisive. Uh, blue. <laughs> Executive decision. Don't you love that? I love that. It's like, what should we get? Should we get pepperoni pizza or cheese? And it's like, eh, I don't know, I don't know. It's like, executive decision, pepperoni. Done. <laughs> uh, I, I seem to have to do that with my group of friends a lot. That's completely off topic, but... I don't know if people are indecisive. Anyway, let's see. I need to bring up the blue one, I think. Yeah, I can use the switch right here. This should get the job done. Let's see. Yeah, it's like the dry, dry ruins puzzle. You know, with the stairs and the colors, and you know what I'm talking about. There we go, like a pro, walk, walking into the wall like a pro. No, okay, that's done, that's done. Chuck guy. Let's go. Oh, here's a new enemy. This is the Oucher glass. It's like hourglass, except Oucher. That was a really bad pun. I'm gonna attack the spear guy, just so you can see what the outro glass does. Based on what side, or not really, what I guess what side the outro glass is on, it'll do one of two attacks. The first is to get a giant fist to appear into Luigi. I don't know why, it just is. Also, Luigi's hand attack destroys those things, so. 
Yeah. Luigi's hand attack actually destroys everything in there. I don't know. I actually just noticed it. Well, not that I just noticed it, but I just kind of remembered to tell. Do you know that the victory animations for the bros actually differ depending on what attack was last used? Oh, there's a hammer. Yeah, actually, man, by the way. So if I use the hand to take out the limbo guy, or limbo bro, he's all like, yeah, hand power. He's like, ha! Maseko, ha! No, he's not really like that. But he does show off his hand power, and his hand power is lightning. I mean, what if you could shoot lightning out of your hand? That would be pretty cool. And there's a weird pedal door again. So we're going to go up here. Up the stairs, hit the block, and we get a giant stone head. It's Olmec. No, it's not Olmec. <laughs> Legends of the Hidden Temple. Hey, Mr. Mustache, I'm amazed you have come so far. Okay. Word has spread in town that half a horrible something despicably frightening monster. <laughs> That's some nice stuff you got there. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. Boom! No. Okay. So this guy's kind of angry. He's kind of a little upset. I don't blame him. You know, people think he's a really scary monster, but he's really not. So, okay, we randomly get the boss music, but that's cool. So I guess this is the boss. It's, it's a mini game. Uh, what we have to do is we have to dodge fireballs for 30 seconds uh, that this guy spits out. Luckily, we can't fall off the platforms. However, while well, we can, if we jump backwards too far or forwards and then the platform disappears. But this isn't too bad. I mean, it can get a little tricky towards the end, but I don't think now it... I stand corrected, because I just fell. No, no, that one too. You play tried to defeat my stress again. Hey, as long as we get to listen to the boss music, I'm fine with that. So yeah, the first, like, five seconds, he doesn't do anything. So really, you only have to do dodge fireballs for 25 seconds. But whatever. Alright, so I assume... Yeah, I'm just going to try to do this strategy. Jump to the farm platform, and then jump back. So... Is this really the <laughs> this is really easy. Is this really the strategy we have to use? I mean, I love the epic boss music, but I mean, come on, it's a little anticlimactic. Okay, let's jump. Oh god. Oh uh oh. They're getting fast. Getting fast. Oh man. Whoa. 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 Jump. Woo. <laughs> wow. Success. That was actually pretty tough towards the end. Wow. Oh many thanks. That really got off a lot of stress. Don't you hate that sound? You're just like exploring a cave, or. You know, minding your own business, building your house, and then it's like, tss, and then it's too late to react. Once they once you hear that sound, you can't even you don't even know where it's coming from, and by the time you do, it's too late. You're dead. I hate that. Anyway, oh, that looks important because it's in the middle of the room. It's crabby grass. Da 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 da. I got some grass. <laughs> Not to smoke, but to actually give to Mario. So anyway, we can go this way and see this yellow pipe. You remember the yellow pipe from uh, Little Fungi Town, right? Yeah, this is where it leads. But anyway, now's a good time to save. So let's save the game. But look at this. We still have plenty of time to give the Krabby Grass to Mario. So we need to get Mario back because look at that. That's, that's depressing to see that empty silhouette picture. So yeah, the yellow pipe actually leads right up here to Little Fungi Town. But you know what I'm wondering? Why has nobody like done anything about this? Why is nobody even like, oh, there's a giant yellow pipe up there. Where does it go? Nobody, apparently nobody ever had the need to find out. But let's talk to this guy, because we haven't talked to this guy. Down here and under every is the giant, huge, really big mushroom known as a great mountain mushroom. Why does he have this voice? I don't know. Just how a mushroom could ever get so big, it's a mystery. Okay, okay. Uh, these are tourists that say useless information. I don't know. Just thought I'd let you know. All right, like... Why are characters in this game useless? Useless NPCs. I hate useless NPCs. I mean, if they said like, Hi, how are you today? I'd be like, Oh, that's very nice of you, game. I'm very fine, thank you. But no, they're useless. Anyway, uh, that's Psycho Kamek. That is not Mario. It's like Castle... Well, I guess nothing can beat Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest where the NPCs lied to you. Oh, oh dear. Lightning. That's going to completely interrupt my Castlevania 2 rant. But I will say, what a horrible night to have occurs. Anyway, what the hell was that lightning? What? You don't know what you've been doing? I don't know what you've been doing. What? Wait a minute, don't you remember? So it seems Luigi, that l random bolt of lightning, kind of jogged Luigi's memory and made him unhypnotized. And he's like, what? I never do that. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love that. Wow, I actually did. <laughs> I actually did something. It really is crappy grass. Going to the frightful and dangerous ruins all by yourself? Luigi, how incredibly courageous you are. Surely you will be a legend in this town. It's like, uh, sure. Let's go with that. 
Oh yeah, we should probably figure out what that random lightning bolt was. Something, something have happened at the embassy? Oh, yeah. Shouldn't you be rushing to Mario's side? Shouldn't you be doing what a hero actually does? Sure, I guess. Here we go. Uh, Lu Lu Luigi! Uh -oh. oh, it's a random toad. I don't know what voice to do that. Princess Peach, she is captured again. Uh oh, oh god, oh boy, lightning. Black screen, oh, that, that looks mean. Hey, Peach's Beach. She's safe, right? Oh, no, she's in the Koopa Clown car. And there's Bowser. It's Bowser! Right? It is Bowser, isn't it? Yeah, Luigi thinks it's Bowser. I think it's Bowser. Oh, that is not Bowser's laugh. I think you're sorely mistaken. I'm Wizardheimer! No, it's Bowletta. All right. Well, this is the monstrosity of Cacletta plus Bowser equals Bowletta. Let's do Mario and Luigi math. Cacletta plus Bowser equals Bowletta. So, if you thought either one of them were ugly and creepy and weird before, <laughs> you know, they're really weird now. Oh, God. That is a weird face. No, Bowletta is pretty creepy. So, yeah, she's just going to steal the real deal right now. Why even bother with stealing her voice? Just steal Princess Peach, because you're in Bowser's body, and that's what Bowser does. So, yeah, you can tell this is a big problem, because it's still playing the crisis music. You must quickly go to your brother Mario! Alright, let's go quickly go to our brother Mario. Go as fast as I can. Go as fast as I can. Here we go. Come on, don't be in a rush. No rush, Luigi. Just continue walking at your same pace. Mario! Crabby grass! Heal! Well, that conveniently worked. Aw, Luigi, no need to break down. You just went to the ruins to get crabby grass. How can you be so sad? Mario, the princess! is captured again. He should have been like, really, again? And now we're back at Beamy Castle, randomly. Master Mario, Master Luigi, all sorts of things have transpired where you off doing who knows what. That makes it, you know, that makes it sound like it's our fault, really. Now it's our fault that the princess get captured, really? Okay. Your Highness, Bowser, no, Cacletta, no, Bowletta. A message has arrived on a Game Boy Advance. No, a hologram on a Game Boy Advance. Okay, I love this game, I love it. You beauty woman said, no match for me now. Okay. I'm only gonna say this one, so listen up. If you want your precious princess returned safely. Oh, this is I see what they're gonna do here. Bring me the four pieces of the bean star. I will contact you again once the bean star is complete. I, you know, I need to really get a Bowletta voice down. I, with voice acting, I switched so much. Oh, earthquake. No, oh, oh, I'm gonna fold my arms because I'm a sassy queen. No. Uh, I always get my voices all mixed up. So, anyway, this is where the plot says we need to get the four bean star pieces. Because before, it's almost better if they're broken. Like, why even bother? But now we have to bother because we have to deal with that stupid whiny bitch, Princess Peach. Anyway, Prince Beasley is going to graciously mark the location of the bean star pieces on our map. That's pretty awesome. Who got the pieces first? The Steam Mario Brothers or me. I think I know the answer to that. I will bet. Okay, hold on. I can do this. 99 trillion, 999 billion, 999 million, 999,000, 999 mushroom coins, that it'll be me. Ha! I'll definitely be willing to take that bet. And so will Luigi. Oh, God. Luigi's getting stabbed with a rapier in the ass. I hope you notice what's going on here. Princess Peach is like, yeah. Oh, no. Prince Peasley, rather. Not Princess Peach. Princess Peach is captured. Prince Peach is like, ah, oh, it will be me. But we all know who it's really going to be. Come on. We were the Mario Bros. How can you go against us? Although, Prince Beasley does have a sword. We do not have a sword. That that would be very helpful if we had a sword. Anyway, the plot, or namely Toadsworth, says to go to that Dean Star piece first. For absolutely no reason at all. So, I guess we're going to listen to the plot, because the plot usually guides us in the right direction anyway. But yeah, this was quite a video of Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. So... In the next video, we will be begin our hunt for the Bean Star pieces in order to save Princess Peach, the whiny bitch again. With Mario back in tow, I can now say, see you next time for more Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Ciao.